matches lined up this particular Saturday afternoon with the early kickoff beating Bournemouth up against Liverpool, then late kickoff tie. Of course, Pete's Crystal Palace. The Patrick Vieira's charges against Manchester City were the title contenders seeking to defend the title they bagged last season. How would that go? It's time for international football fan favorite segment, The Fan Zone, where we discuss what's been happening and the headlines as far as uh, results and weekend ties in all European leagues are concerned. Ken Andrew and Eric Ganya are still with us on this particular platform. Gentlemen, we still in progress. What's the your assessment regarding the English Premier League so far and who is likely to win the league? Ken? I think uh, likely to win the league, you know, it, it will be Arsenal, you know. <laughs> you be, you, you're being an Arsenal hater because of your Man United <laughs> affiliation, right? I don't really hate it. I just, you know, don't like them being at the top. <laughs> they're used to Arsenal being at fourth. I think they are, everyone is comfortable with them. There. The noise is quieter. What if they pull a surprise and bag the championship overall? I think they are they're the closest the closest ones to win the trophy. You know, they've led the league for the whole season and it will be a really big fumble if they don't win the league. You know, they, they are the favourites to win it. You know, everyone has to accept. But people actually still think that City can win and that is down to the two games that Arsenal has, is yet to play. That's visiting Anfield and also visiting the Etihad. If they can get a result in either one of those, you know, they'd be a shoo-in for the, for the title. But you look at the, the rest of the table, you know, Liverpool are in a good form right now and that is obvious, you know, because they've blast, blasted past their biggest rivals. Uh, Tottenham are still shaky, you know. Uh, United, United is, you know, still in a transition period, so, you know, we will still be, we'll see better from the next season but you know chelsea also you know they're shaky but i think they're building well i think they've bought the right players they just need the right man at the helm to help them get something there is one thing i'm liking and it's about man united humility because before last weekend's fix against liverpool where they got thrashed you know the you people are considering yourselves as you know one of the title contenders and uh, making a lot of arithmetics at City wa kichapa moja mbili alafu Arsenal pia wa 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 fall kidogo tutakuwa na points juu ngapi i don't know why is that mathematics no, those, 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 are, those are our ambitious fans eh? if you look at uh, i love manchester united uh, and uh, i know it will be uh, a stretch rather uh, to win the league in the first uh, in uh, this season but i i like the progress that uh, that has been there uh, under ten hag uh, we've already had the Carabao Cup. It's not easy. We've been there some time. We've not had it. Uh, Soja was there in the final, I think, twice. And he didn't mm. win it. Mm. Uh, so I think uh, us uh, being able, under Ten Hag, being able to, to get that, that's still uh, an improvement. Um, about winning the league, no. Maybe third. The best position, maybe third. And if uh, third, third will be realistic. So we go back to Champions League football. Uh, we get third position. We are two, three signings away from winning the league. We need a striker. A natural born number nine. A finisher. Hurricane comes, forget, we win. Next season, we take it. Or well, Kenny will play that role Robin Van Persie played when he yes, was Yes, he comes. We, we, United, yeah, he was yes, the top yes. scorer, 26 goals. And yes, yes. So Alex Ferguson, yeah. one is... Last He's 20th, 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 21st, and he, departure, right? he, yes. he departed. He comes, we win it. Because we, we need that. That, 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 that number nine. Uh, push Rashford. And you also in pursuit of services of Jude Bellingham. Uh, Jude Bellingham, maybe to just strengthen the midfield. Uh, because if you look at the midfield, uh, we have options. But uh, uh, we, have, we are forced now to play Rashford as number nine. We have Marshall, who is barely fit. Uh, plays two games, goes back for two months. Mm. Plays another game, goes back. And you see that that guy is a little striker. So if we get a, a little striker, we are two, three signings away from winning it. Ken, we're going we're gonna to be objective. Arsenal has uh, been, you know, impressive so far. And they are the favourites alongside City. And Mikel Arteta is proving to be something else when it comes to managerial abilities. Because we've seen a few former players, you know, transitioning into better managers. So Laguna Solskjaer. Failed, Frank Lampard failed, Andrea Pilo failed. Xavi Hernandez is also doing good with Barcelona. I think they are likely to win La Liga this season and they have been doing very well in other leagues despite you having been eliminated by United in Europa League. But the, 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 the uh, title runs off and overall assessment regarding the Premier League and the level of competition being witnessed because even... 
Chelsea were busy on the transfer market, yeah. but the same thing is not getting replicated with the results. Yeah, I think one thing that Arsenal has really helped Arsenal, unlike Chelsea, you know, they, they, they've signed great characters. That's one thing, because Arsenal in the past, they'd be 3 nil ahead and you, you'd be comfortable, you know, it's Arsenal. But these days, when they go behind, you see people like Zinchenko, that they are to rally the players, that they are to fight. You, you see their goalkeeper, Ramsdale, he is loud, you know. He wants to get this win, you know. You see people like Saka, they have changed. I think that's something Arteta has also brought in. This team can now fight, and that's one thing that has helped Arsenal. Because over the years, Arsenal has always played great football, but have been unlucky. But this season, they're, they're playing really well, and they're very lucky. They're able to come back and win. They're able to come back and draw. And they have great players with great mentalities. They have winners, you know, Zinchenko, Gabriel Jesus. These are people who have won trophies. Jorginho, you know, Champions League and, and Euros winner. They have characters. And their manager, Mikel Arteta, has been able to blend these players, the young ones and the experienced ones, to have a great uh, lineup. And uh, you look at them last season, when the season was ending, you know, they fumbled it. And that's what people will be looking at this season. Can they have and maintain? proper run for a whole season because Arsenal has always, has always lacked that but this season maybe they actually can so you know being favorites they should be careful not to slip up because you know that will take a lot out of them mentally yeah. Liverpool up against Bournemouth in an early kickoff this afternoon can they maintain the same momentum after you know getting motivated by <laughs> not seven goals today but they will definitely win uh, seven goals they got lucky against Manchester United on a bad yeah, day yeah. But uh, today they are going to win because they are on, a, they are on a, an upward trajectory. Bournemouth is a relegation threatened? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, Liverpool, most of the injuries, uh, the injuries they had, those guys are coming back. And you see, uh, in the attack now, they are spoiled for talent. They have mm -hmm. Nunes, they have Gapko, they have uh, Jota coming in back from injury. Uh, they have Firmino there, he's a worker. They have uh, Mo Salah there. So you see, uh, if, uh, they, they, they'll bombard Bournemouth. And uh, uh, you remember Bournemouth, last, la, la, last, last, uh, last weekend, they scored one goal against Arsenal. They came to, to throw it the last minute, mm -hmm. uh, losing 3-2. Bournemouth are going to fight, but I think uh, Liverpool will pick it today yeah. because of now the quality that they have in that team. Yeah. Ken? I think uh, this, this game is for Liverpool to take, you know. You, see, you look at their first meeting at Anfield, it was 9 nil against Bournemouth. I know it was a different manager at the time, but the players were still the same mostly. And Liverpool absolutely blasted for them. Bournemouth actually, when they played Arsenal, they showed a, a team that wants to stay in the Premier League. They actually fought, but they lost it in the final minute. It was rather unfair because they had the time, you know, it was exactly at the end when they got the goal. But they actually came out and played against Arsenal. It got, not a lot of teams have been able to score twice at, at Emirates. I think it's. Man United, Man City and Bournemouth now, so you know, it's not an easy place, but they show great character, but Liverpool, the way they are going, the people coming back from injury, they are, I think they, will ha they should have, the, but you know, early kickoff is something. Early <laughs> kickoff is something, and yeah. another game to, you know, keep close eyes on is, you know, uh, Leicester up against Chelsea. I think it's a battle between the struggling sides. <laughs> <laughs> Brendan Rogers, will it's a test of time at you know King Power? No, no, I don't think. I, 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 I wasn't. Or they, they have got <laughs> no options. I, I, I wasn't they betting on him being the there up to now. Yeah, I thought yeah. uh, uh, when Lampard left, lucky. he will be the next casualty to mm. go. Uh, because I think he struggled. And uh, I think what Leicester are understanding also, the reason why they have not fired him, eh? they have not reinforced the squad for quite some time. Mm. Uh, they've not reinforced for I think two seasons they've not bought, yeah. they've sold without. They have from the steel uh, with uh, Yami Vardy and the Yenacho. Yeah, 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 and uh, Brendan Rogers uh, actually has done well with Yenacho. Uh, Yenacho yeah, was a little bit shaky, but he's now dependable. Mm -hmm. And then Vardy also struggled with injury. Uh, Barnes struggled with injury. Uh, and uh, he didn't get the players he wanted. And that, yeah. I, I, I think that's the main reason why Leicester have stuck with him. Mm -hmm. uh, for Chelsea, uh, uh, contrary to what everybody thinks that uh, uh, Graham Potter will be fired, no, he will not be fired. Uh, I believe Graham Potter is at the right place and uh, it will take him time. Mm. Graham Potter is a brilliant coach. Look at what he did with Brighton. Mm. The form and the game that Brighton is playing right now, uh, most and, of the attributes... And, and considering most of the yes. players who have been acquired 
have been bought under his watch, yes. meaning that probably the owners and look, have got a long look, term look, look at the players he's bringing in. Yeah. He's bringing in young players mm. who want to play attractive football. Yes. And that's what he plays. Mm. The problem was that he had a lot of players who were there earlier on uh, that were big names. So he has a challenge of now mm. facing them mm. off. Easily, uh, slowly facing them off, and I think at, at, at the end of the season you see a lot of clear uh, him clearing most of the old players, and then he had he had serious he had serious injuries to key players, the likes of Kinakante. Kante has not been in action for quite some yeah. time, and uh, previously under the previous managers, uh, the team has been built around him. Mm. Uh, so I think uh, uh, Graham Potter uh, will do well at Chelsea, not this season, uh, but uh, he will stabilize, and next season uh, he will uh, he'll he'll be a top four contender. So I think Leicester, uh, Chelsea, uh, I think uh, I put my money on Chelsea. <laughs> the debate on Ronaldo Messi, Patrick Vieira, I'm seeing some quotes of him in one of you know the platforms. If Messi had the same work ethic as yeah. Ronaldo, you'll probably have like 15 Ballon d'Or oh, today. Yes, oh, yes, oh, I'm yes. just in love with people working hard, so that's why I pick. Ronaldo over Messi. I oh yes, that is, that's a debate that can never come to an end. No, me, I agree. I, I, you looked at the Champions League, yeah. uh, PSG versus Bayern. Look at that game when PSG was knocked out. Mm. What if that guy really worked hard? Yeah. Messi was Was he complacent? He was nowhere yes. to be seen in the game. Yes. And Mbappe too, and now there is this room of Mbappe joining Los Blancos of Real Madrid. Mbappe now he, thinks he, he needs to go. Mm. Because he needs to win the Champions League. Yeah. And he has realized that... For him uh, to be a complete player. Exactly. Yeah. You've won the World Cup. You've won the Euro. Uh, what else? You've won the, 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 your domestic league. Mm. Uh, what else do you need? That mm. Champions League. Yeah. And I, I don't think he will want to go down in history as one of the greatest players, who, great players who never won the Champions League. Mm -hmm. And he knows, he has, I think he, he has, it has come to his realization that uh, he has to leave uh, PSG if he's to win the Champions League. And uh, that one, he will go. At the mm -hmm. end of the season, or maybe not this season, maybe next season, he'll, mm -hmm. he'll have to go. Mm -hmm. Just as we are speaking Harry, about Hurricane, Hurricane will also have to go. What to has been the, the main undoing of PSG not you know, lifting Champions League title, despite, you know, a battery of well accomplished uh, world class players i think it's it's just as you've said it's complacency mm -hmm. because you look at them last season against real madrid the three best players neymar messi and mbappe they were just up up the field yeah. you know do everything else and get us the ball and that yeah. does not work mm -hmm. all the time because if you look at the teams that are playing real madrid mm -hmm. bayern munich mm -hmm. Chupo Moting is not as good as the three, but he chases back. <laughs> he chases back. Yeah, he, he chases back, back and tries and gets uh, the ball. Uh, Benzema tracks back. It, they, 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 they all track back. Vinicius <laughs> comes and helps the fullback. Yeah. You know, they work as a team yes. to try and beat yeah. this yeah. other team. And that's one thing uh, that has been a or big they, or they, or Maybe they get another, another, another crazy coach in the mm. name of maybe Mourinho, uh, who has won <laughs> everything. Uh, you yeah. see, the problem is also that, that that dressing room is intimidating to the coach. Yes. They have mm. Sergio Ramos in that dressing room. Mm. <laughs> you have... Uh, Actually, was the one... <laughs> running up front and coming back yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and at his age and as a central and defender. He, uh, as he also said in the interview after, you know, we need to work better as a team for as us a team to win, and win the, the Champions League. Yeah. Because I, I know he, he sees the difference between, you know, winning it three times at Real, Real Madrid consecutively, how they work together as a, as a team. And here where there are better players, they cannot get the job done past look, Real look, and look Bayern at, Munich. Look at Real Madrid last season. Yeah. Uh, we never thought they will go beyond uh, the knockout stages. Yeah. They went all the way, all the way, mm. and won it. Mm. Look at they, they came. I think quarter final, semi final, mm. and um, they came from down. Yes. And Ancelotti could rally them. Mm. You see, everybody has to work for the team. Mm. Whether you are a superstar or you are an upcoming player, and mm. you see the problem with the PSG is that individualism. Mm. Uh, each person is uh, getting as an individual. Yeah. Uh, I, I, I looked at, I watched that game and I was disappointed because uh, you are seeing two great players, uh, the future and the past in Messi and the future in Mbappe yeah. on the field and they cannot connect mm. to bring magic. Mm. So uh, would they attribute the elimination to absence of Neymar who was... And, uh, uh, even if he was the there, uh, it, would even, it would have even been worse, I think, because uh, those guys don't track back. Because so you want to add now Neymar, who doesn't also track back? A, it would have been a scramble for <laughs> three world-class players, <laughs> <laughs> all competing to, you know, <laughs> yeah, exactly. outshine each other. Yeah, outshine each other. Yeah. And you see, again, uh, they're thinking about when a penalty comes, who will take it. You mm, know, you know, that's such kind of things. things. Yeah. Uh, I don't think so. Yeah. Uh, they, they have a long way to go, mm. and uh, they are better to get uh, a crazy coach like Mourinho. Because mm. Mourinho will tell them off. Mourinho has won everything. Mm. 
Yeah. He'll tell them off. He'll bench them. Did they do mistake parting ways with Mauricio Pochettino too early? No, Mauricio, Mauricio Pochettino could not. He's not. He could not handle mm. those. those, 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 those he was too timid for yes, those, those high Get Zidane players. in that. In that maybe yeah. get Zidane because Zidane has been there as a player. Uh -huh, yeah. He's won everything. Yeah. So there's nothing you'll tell him. Get mm. Zidane in that in that dressing room. Yeah. Messi will not tell Zidane anything. Uh, because Zidane has been there, has done that. Yes. Uh, you see, Pochettino has not played to the highest level. So Messi will feel like, ah, we are going to be You see, that, 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 that ego uh, is one well, that has messed What up. do we expect uh, in the next week? Liverpool up against Real Madrid, yeah. trailing behind by 5-2 <laughs> during two. the first leg. Can they overturn the I, deficit I, I don't think you're in going, the return fixture? I don't think you are going to score four goals against <laughs> Real at the Bernabeu and them not But they did something back. back against Barcelona or yeah. who? Uh, no, Barce you, Barcelona. Score, yes, but will yeah. they, it, will it be a 4-0? No. Yeah, it can't be a 4-0 <laughs> like this. Yeah. Because, yeah. you know, Benzema, Vinicius, these guys in the Champions League are are different, Grave. You know, they are really, really different to what you see. at. You see that the, the performance Barcelona, the 4-0 they had at Anfield a couple of seasons back and Real Madrid, the performance they had last season, even in the final against Liverpool, you just see the difference in work rate. Yeah. These guys are monsters. They know the Champions League is their trophy mm -hmm. and they fight for it in all the games they play in the Champions League. So I think for them, it will be, it will be, it will be an easy game for them. They just have to score mm -hmm. and Liverpool will have to score two more. Two they just more. have to score one and that's it for Liverpool. Mm -hmm. At least some consolation, but doesn't quite do it. <laughs> Gentlemen, your parting shot before we go. It's been a marathon program from one to three. We need to chuck off and... Uh, <laughs> You know, before we do, I don't know. Okay, yeah. Eric, what yeah. are you looking forward uh, to this uh, particular oh, weekend? Oh, 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 this particular weekend, uh, just catching the games. But uh, the subsequent week coming away now from football, there's something we're doing down there uh, to do with the environment and young people. Uh, we partnered uh, with a young guys called Sports for Greener. Oh. Uh, we're doing a, a, we have a cleanup on 25th in Car West and a uh, tree planting uh, occasion where we want to plant uh, a thousand trees across car west and uh, just clean up these are these are these, these, these are young guys and that's that's a brilliant initiative in line with <laughs> what minister of environment has been advocating oh yes for. oh yes how many trees per month uh, they, they, they are talking about ten thousand yeah. uh, we want to plant a thousand uh, in on 25th uh, after three months we plan another thousand and uh, you see when you have visionary leadership under 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 dr clement kamaru yes. the area mca together with uh, his excellency the governor uh, johnson sakaja uh, is really supporting uh, those initiatives so these these are cbo by young people who want to take up the environment and take care of it so we are appealing to well wishers come join us let us start you know, it small. Considering, considering why 254 is a platform meant for, for youth. For, for I, youth. Think. I think I should bring them here. Yeah. Uh, I should bring their CEO. He's a, he was a former player. He's called Ashinga. Very, oh, uh, very brilliant yeah. guy. He's, a, he's the chairman of the, 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 the Sports for Green and in the, uh, CBO. And he's doing a very, very brilliant job down there. Wow, that's good stuff, cool yes, stuff. Yes. Ken yourself, what are you looking forward yeah. to this particular weekend? I'd, I'd say, I'd ask you know, the viewers to be keen on the, the race for second, third and fourth in this area. I think it's really, really great. I think it's a close call. Uh, Inter Milan, Roma, AC Milan, Lazio, they're all involved in it. And it's, you know, things are getting thicker right now as it stands. And also in the championship, below Burnley, I think there's a huge, huge race for the playoff positions. It's really close. The point studies are almost the same. And, uh, you know, there are races, you know, not many people will watch, but have an eye on them. They're really exciting. Wow, it's been a fantastic program. Every Saturday, one to three touchline talking matter sports happening both local and beyond. And of course, we can't have been made it a success without, you know, people behind the scenes, uh, super cameramen and even people at the gallery led by a producer, Beatrice Abdul Rizak Ingutia. You know, a man now who's playing a multipurpose role. Besides being uh, on camera, he can also be a super director. Anyway, it's a pleasure doing this every Saturday. We link up again next weekend same time same place but let's continue with the conversation hashtag touchline y255 wasike max solosoro but is missing in action but think he's busy with what is happening at the mudaiga golf club but of course we'll link up again next weekend thank you for tuning in bless and enjoy take care